actually we don't know whether the earth is the only place that has life. Let's look at the science first and then the Torah. Scientifically, uh, people have thought for a long time that there was life elsewhere. In fact, we thought there was life in Mars. Uh, we still think there might have been life in Mars in the past. Uh, and um, NASA and other space agencies are spending uh, hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, looking for Earth-like planets to see if there is some kind of life uh, there. So why does science think there might be life elsewhere? Uh, because science postulates that life arose naturally from inorganic material, from the earth, from the minerals, inorganic matter, and, and then evolved uh, throughout uh, the earth. Now, they, scientists recognize that this process, for which they still don't have any proof or a developed theory, but they have some good working theories, uh, it's very unlikely because everything is tuned just right on Earth, the water, the, the, the location near the sun, and so on. So it's very unlikely. But as your question answers, if there's trillions of other galaxies out there, maybe there is other planets similar to Earth, and maybe it could happen there, even though it's unlikely. That's why science believes that maybe there's life elsewhere. It's very unlikely, but there's so many places on it. Now, what does the Torah say? The Torah says that um, there are two types of creation. One is where the word bara is used, which means an ex nihilo out of nothing creation. And the rest are what I would call making, where God is taking something that already exists and making it into something else. So uh, our sources explain that in the very first bara, Bereshit bara, God endowed, for example, the earth with the ability to give forth plants. That's why later on in Genesis, it doesn't say God created the plants. God said, let the earth bring forth the plants, meaning that the ingredients to make the plants were already there. They had been put in in the first bara. So from a Torah perspective then, earth can give rice to plant life naturally. Of course, it requires God's command, but it is built in. And so it might, there might be other plant life elsewhere. And certainly if we go somewhere and plant things, like we're planning to go to Mars and plant potatoes, the Torah is saying they'll grow because the earth has the ability to grow seed. However, when it comes to complicated life, when in day five, it says that God created the large sea creatures and of course, in day six, when he created Adam, that was also a bara. And that was here on earth. So the Torah is saying complex life and certainly humans you will not see elsewhere. Uh, especially humans because we need the Torah. We're given free will. We can only have free will if we have the Torah to guide our lives. And the Torah was given on Mount Sinai. It wasn't given on Mount Mars or Mount other, other mountains. Um, so there could be life elsewhere according to science because of what they believe uh, uh, based on our sources we could have very primitive life elsewhere but we would never run into something like you and me that's only here on earth if you like that video hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best jewish content online